Hi everyone. Uh, in today's lesson, we are going to learn to recognize Mary as the mother of the church. And it's kind of a perfect lesson for the day after Mother's Day. So we spent a lot of time on Sunday thinking about our own mothers. And today we're going to think about our heavenly mother, Mary. So if you could join me for a prayer, we're going to pray the Hail Mary together. So put your hands together and make the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So as we've learned uh, earlier in the year, we know that Mary played a really important role in Jesus' life. And she also leads us to an understanding about Jesus's teachings. Mary provides us with a model of how to love God and follow God's will. So she's kind of like a role model for us. She sets a really good example for us. So we're going to start our lesson today by reading some passages from the Bible. And I want you to think about what was happening in each of these passages. So each of the passages that I'm going to read is from one of the stories that we've studied about Jesus's life. So try to think about what story each passage goes with. I'm going to start with the first one. Then Mary said, here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. And that's from Luke, the book of Luke, chapter one, verse 38. The next one is, and Mary said, my soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. That's also from the book of Luke, chapter 1, verses 46 to 47. The third one says, When the wine gave out, and the mother of Jesus said to him, They have no wine. And Jesus said to her, Woman, what concern is that to you and me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servants, Do whatever he tells you. And that's from the book of John, chapter 2, verses 3 to 5. And finally, the last one, when Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing beside her, he said to his mother, woman, here is your son. Then he said to the disciple, here is your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his own home. And that's from the book of John, chapter 19, verses 26 to 27. So let's start with the first quote. It says, then Mary said, here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. So where did we see this in a story? What angel are we talking about in this quote? Well, if you guess the angel Gabriel, then you're right. So when we were talking about the nativity, so Jesus's birth, we learned that Gabriel visited Mary and told her that she was going to have a very special baby boy. Now, if you remember, Mary was pretty worried about this because she wasn't married and she didn't know if she was going to be able to take care of a child, but she had faith. She had faith that God had a plan for her. And we can see that faith in the second quote. It says, and Mary said, my soul magnifies the Lord and my spirit rejoices in God, my savior. So that was actually when Mary visited her cousin Elizabeth. And if you remember from our nativity story, we learned that Elizabeth was quite a bit older than Mary and she really wanted to have a baby, but she was having a hard time. So just imagine what these two women were feeling. So they were probably both really excited, maybe a little bit worried, but probably pretty happy. And what do you think it means when Mary said, my soul magnifies the Lord? What does the word magnify mean? Well, when we think of magnifying, we usually think of a magnifying glass. Kind of like this one up here. So when we use a magnifying glass, what does it do? Well, it makes things bigger. So what Mary was saying is that her soul magnifies the Lord. So it makes God's intentions and God's love bigger. So essentially what she's saying in this passage is that she'll be a role model for God, and she will show other people what that's supposed to look like. Let's move on to the third passage. 
When the wine gave out and the mother of Jesus said to him, they have no wine. And Jesus said to her, woman, what concern is that to you and me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servants, do whatever he tells you. Now, what story do you think of when you read this passage? What story has wine in it and a wedding? Well, it's the wedding of Cana. So this was the first time that Jesus performed a miracle. And when Mary said, do whatever he tells you, she was saying, have faith in my son and do what he says. So really, this passage is telling us if we trust in God and we trust in God's will, then everything will work out the way it's supposed to. And who helps you trust God's will? Well, that would be Mary showing us the way and the Holy Spirit guiding us. So our last quote says, When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing beside her, he said to his mother, Woman, here is your son. Then he said to the disciple, Here is your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his own home. So what's happening in this passage? Well, you might remember when we were talking about the crucifixion that when Jesus was on the cross, as he was dying, uh, his mother Mary and Mary Magdalene were at the foot of the cross. The disciple John was also there at the crucifixion. And the disciple whom Jesus loved is, we think, the disciple John. So who are the disciples of Jesus today? Well, that would be us. So anyone who is a follower or believer in Jesus is a current disciple. And when Jesus says, here is your mother, he's not only talking to the disciples who were there when he died, but he's also talking to all of us. So Mary is the heavenly mother to all of us. Now we're going to read a little bit more about Mary and her role as mother of the church. So you can read along with me if you'd like. Mary mother of the church. We call Mary the mother of God because Jesus is God. When Jesus died on the cross, Mary became the mother of the church and our mother too. Jesus gave this gift to everyone in God's family. Just as Mary looked after Jesus all of his life, Mary now looks after us as the body of Christ. With the help of the Holy Spirit, she helps us to understand the teachings of her son and what it means to obey God's will. Mary has appeared to many people around the world. When she appears, she brings us messages from God. They can help to teach us how God wants us to live and how to be more like Jesus. Mary shows us that prayer, humility, and obedience keep us close to God. So tomorrow we're going to learn more about those appearances, so those visions that people have had throughout history of Mary. So she's actually appeared to people as a vision. Uh, but for today, we're going to focus more on this section here, the we read the Bible section. So it says, when Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing beside her, he said to his mother, woman, here is your son. Then he said to the, the disciple, here is your mother. So we saw this uh, quote at the beginning of our lesson. And it's just to emphasize that when Jesus gave Mary to the disciple John, he was really giving her to all of us. So what you're going to do for the exit pass today, it's not really a Google exit pass that we're going to do. I'm going to upload a sheet and I want you to think about places you've seen either images or statues of Mary and then maybe think of some places that are named after Mary. So think of some schools. So there are definitely schools in London that are named after Mary, such as St. Mary's Choir School. So try to come up with five images or statues of Mary that you've seen. You can write the locations of where you've seen them as well. And then try to think of five places that are named after Mary. So again, that could be schools, it could be churches, it could be places in the community. And if you'd like, you can send in a picture of your worksheet when it's done, or you can just upload another copy of it under the assignment section of our course page. And we'll continue our lesson on Mary tomorrow.